Hey guys, in my previous video, I talked about methodology section of the coursework, which is usually an assessment uh, for many modules uh, in the UK. In this video, I'll talk about objectives section of the report or, or, or an essay. Objectives are an extremely important but a very basic part of the report. It is important because without it, your coursework has no direction. It has no aim. Uh, it has no reason to be done. But at the same time, it's very simple and basic because there's no technicalities involved in this section. One should get it right because it's, it's easy, but if you don't know, then, then you will mess up. And if you mess this up, no matter how good the whole report is, you will fail your uh, work. Uh, this reminds me of an incident a few years back. Um, a very good student of mine came to me and he said that he has failed a module because he, he failed the coursework uh, in that module. And that kind of surprised me because um, he was a very good student uh, and in my coursework he did get really good marks. But uh, I was a bit surprised that he actually failed that uh, uh, coursework. So I, so I asked what happened and he said this was a very simple and silly mistake but it happened and from my point of view I should not have failed uh, so can you please check my report. The problem was that uh, he was supposed to write down the characteristics of a private limited company and he done that very well but uh, what happened when he was typing it when he was writing it instead of writing down PVT Co he kept writing down PLC and that changed the whole perspective of the report. And I said, well, you were, you were supposed to talk about private limited companies, and which you did, but then you referred everything to a PLC. So this is a very fundamental error. And I don't blame the reader because uh, if you talk about the characteristics, for example, close control, a, a few number of uh, directors, few number of shareholders and things like that, uh, they are correctly for a private limited company. But you are every time you rather than saying private limited company, you have uh, you have mentioned public limited company. So that makes your whole report uh, incorrect. So I think you need to do it again. And I'm I, I felt sorry for him, but it was a very uh, simple, very basic, but a very silly mistake. And why is this story relevant uh, to objectives? Because objectives are the same thing. They're very simple. But if you mess them up. Uh, you will fail your coursework and last uh, semester when I was marking uh, some of the students work I noticed that rather than giving the objectives of the report they were giving me objectives of, the, of their subject companies which they were an analyzing a basic simple mistake and because objectives determine what is going to be in the report if your objectives are uh, inappropriate incorrect then your report does not make any sense and uh, it does not carry any value because your report is is not what your objective says so what are the objectives of the report then the objectives of the report should be closely aligned with the aim of the report and uh, usually uh, i recommend that uh, when students write down uh, coursework for my modules they should have aims and objective section together Giving you an example from uh, my, one of my module, uh, Managing Finance, the coursework requires students to uh, write down mm, a report analyzing the performance of the business of the company uh, in the three areas which are profitability, liquidity and efficiency. So this report clearly gives what should be the aim of the report and the aim of the report should be to assess and analyze the performance of the company in these three areas. This could be worded differently. You should set your aim revolving around these three things. It can be slightly different, but it should, uh, should cover the basis, basic idea which is being asked in the report. From your aim, you need to 
divide that aim into smaller parts and those becomes your objectives objectives should be smart s m a r t in capitals and that smart means specific measurable achievable relevant and timely all of these qualities may not be possible for your for all of your objectives but you should aim to achieve it so how would you uh, divide uh, your aim of analyzing and uh, assessing the performance of a company uh, you will break it down how are you going to do that so what you need to do your objectives are the steps which you need to take and complete to uh, achieve your aim so to do so for example the first objective would be to calculate the ratios of uh, the company because you're using ratio analysis either you can make it in one objective or you can break it down into three different objectives because you are looking at three different areas so for example you can say that uh, objective uh, my ob objective of this report is to calculate the efficiency of this company by calculating efficiency ratios following efficiency ratios for example and then the next objective in this area would be to interpret the result and understand the performance by comparing the performance of the company with uh, with the previous years uh, and with the competitors and and industry data for example so these are your objectives and this could be written in three bullet points so yes um, um, th that's the key I strongly believe the, that objectives should be in bullet points that makes them more specific and then the next uh, part of the report which is the main body of the report is basically um, doing the work to achieve those objectives you will find it very interesting and useful that objectives has a direct link with the conclusion many students do get confused that what do they write in in the conclusion what you can write in the conclusion and what should be the part of the conclusion is to justify that how you achieved your objectives so there's a direct link between the objectives of your work and the conclusion of your work so I hope uh, objectives now make sense. If uh, there are other questions um, uh, regarding objectives, uh, then please uh, make a comment on this video and I'll try to cover those questions in the next uh, video on this topic. And uh, hit the like and subscribe button for my YouTube channel where I will be releasing more videos uh, on the related topics. So thank you very much for watching this video. Cheers guys.